Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Story Station from Words Alive. I'm your conductor today, Mr. Jim. So glad that you're joining me. Um, I want to let you know about our book today, The Big Umbrella, by Amy June Bates, co-written with Juniper Bates. We're going to find out more about that pair that makes it special. And also I want to thank our friends at Simon & Schuster Books, who give us permission to read this book today. And I want to also ensure that you have your reading eyes on. Do you? Ready to see the pages of this beautiful book? And your listening ears? Have you got your listening ears on? Good. And then I might ask you a question, get some feedback. I want to hear you, so put on that voice box, would you? Okay. And then we're going to sing our song about getting to know books. I know you know it, so sing along with me, right? The title's on the front. The title's on the front. Hi-ho, a biblio. The title's on the front. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi-ho, a biblio. The author writes the words. And the illustrator draws. The illustrator draws. Hi-ho, a biblio. The illustrator draws. And the spine binds the book. The spine binds the book. Hi-ho, a biblio. The spine binds the book. So now it's time to read. Oh, now it's time to read. Hi-ho, a biblio. Now it's time to read. Okay, you're all set. So we can see the title of the book, again on the cover, of course, is The Big Umbrella. And this red umbrella also has a smiley face. And what I wanted to show, uh, tell you about the author and illustrator, her name is Amy June Bates, and it says co-written with Juniper Bates. So they have the same last name. That made me curious to find out more about Juniper and that interesting name. As we flip to the back of the book, a cover jacket, often we'll have information about the people that collaborated on the book right here on this back jacket. And here we see Amy June Bates and Juniper Bates, who is her daughter. Her daughter, who when this was written two or three years ago, was in eighth grade. So I think that's really special. Wouldn't it be great to write a children's book with your mom? or your dad? Right, how about that? So let's find out what they collaborated on and what they created together. This book is, well, we'll talk about it, but the umbrella means something more than, well, an item that protects us from the rain. Let's see if you can find out what that is. By the front door, and here we see the umbrella ready for action. And if you notice here, it actually has a little smiley face upside down, of course, because it is upside down. There is an umbrella. Now we see someone in a yellow, what we used to call a yellow slicker or raincoat, hooded with boots. So we know it's a rainy day. It is big. It is a big, friendly umbrella. And we know it's friendly because, well, that's smiley face, right? It likes to help. It likes to spread its arms wide. So here we see the child underneath the umbrella. 
all expand it out to give them as much coverage from the rain as we can. We can see how the illustrator or drawer has drawn. You see the raindrops hitting the fire hydrant. It loves to give shelter. Right. Shelter is a place one goes to be protected or safe, like your home. It loves to gather people in. And here we see across people, maybe a student here, certainly the original child in the raincoat, and then maybe an athlete here. They have a number on their back, a phone. And here we see, looks to be a girl in a tutu, maybe on her way to ballet class. It doesn't matter if you are tall. Yeah, we have a tall bird, right? Or hairy. So the tall bird got under there. Now we begin to understand that the author is doing something a little different with this book. Maybe now we begin to understand that the umbrella isn't just an umbrella. Or plaid. Or the animals, the children. The hairy beast. Now we have a child with plaid coat and a plaid tote bag. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. Here we see a four-footed creature, a dog. And here we see right here some two-footed creatures, perhaps the chicks that belong to the big bird. Some people worry that there won't be enough room under the big umbrella. And now we see the umbrella expanding. But the amazing thing is there is. Here's the sun shining out. There is always room. Now we see all kinds of different people going about their day or work or fun time. The old and the young, the workers, the children, even an octopus here. And now the sun is shining. So I like to think at this story, perhaps the umbrella is meant to be the love that we all share and can shine onto others. And that itself can make us all feel protected and safe. So that's our sweet little story for today. The Big Umbrella, again by Amy June Bates and co-written with her daughter, Juniper Bates, from our friends at Simon & Schuster Books. And I want to thank you for joining me today at Story Station, and I look forward to seeing you next time, right here.